Can you some coffee, miss? Yes, sir. And a quarter geritol and a ham on rye. No cheese. Yes, sir. Welcome home, sir. Here's a navigational chart, sir. Good, good. Get me radio contact with that ship. Pronto. Pronto. Here's all the available information on the sun, sir. That thing is hot. <laughs> Get me Bud Kruger immediately. Yes, sir. And some ice. Yes, sir. Jacobs. I want to know absolutely everything that's happened up to now. Well, let's see. First, the Earth cooled, and then the dinosaurs came. But they got too big and fat, so they all died, and they turned into oil. And then the Arabs came, and they bought Mercedes Benzes. And Prince Charles started wearing all of Lady Di's clothes. I couldn't believe it. He took her best summer dress out of the closet, and he put it on and went to town. Things sure haven't changed. Oh, my God, you were gassed by Rob. Lane, <laughs> Lane. Simon, the captain's been gassed by rock. <gasps> Simon, we're way off course. You're right, Wayne. We are off course. Elaine, you're all alone up here. Ted, yes, I am. What's going on? There's no time to explain. Sit here, Ted. I was wrong about you. Ted? I have the strangest feeling we've been through this exact same thing before. At last, I'm back. That's more like it. Hmm? Yeah, this is Mission Control. Identify yourself and give me a position. The name's Stryker. I'm sitting down and facing front. Why would you want to know that? Stryker. Stryker, 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 Stryker! Stryker! <laughs> Ted Stryker? That's right, McCruskey. All right. All right, now here's what you do. Stay calm. Keep an eye on those gauges. Things are really going to start to heat up. We'll try to figure out some way around that computer from down here. Over and out. We're going to have to blow the computer. The rock? The bomb's right here beside me. Right there? Beside you? In the cockpit? Strike that. <laughs> what the hell are you doing up there? I got an idea, McCroskey, and it might just work. It's a long shot, but it's the only shot we've got. I want to use the bomb to blow the computer. Stryker, you've got to be crazy to try a stunt like that. I'm taking her to 0 0.5 warp. 0 0.5 warp? Stryker, listen to me now, and listen good. That thing is bound to come apart on you when that's speed, and that's no good. It's got to be in one piece when you land on the moon. You know damn well that that warp drive has never been tested. <laughs> You're putting yourself and everybody else on that ship in jeopardy! Over here! I right, contestant 38. Stryker, listen to me now and listen good. You're going to be on lunar radio range any second. The next transmission that you receive will be from Buck Murdoch at Alpha Beta Base. And Stryker, son, we're all betting on you. I'll take five to one, they all die. Eight to five to women and children, man. Nine to five, they all die. Six to four, they lose the crew. 0.5 warp, God help. Nobody's ever traveled at that speed before. In case some of you are wondering, we are traveling one half the speed of light. Some of you might experience a temporary metabolic change, but there's nothing to worry about.